and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest on this fantastic Sunday. I hope everybody has had a great weekend and welcome to the last IELTS class of 2019. In this lesson, we will be looking at speaking part three, the more challenging follow-up questions to part two speaking. Hi Priyanka, good to see you in this class. Hello Pachu. Hi Shweta Varma Hikmatillo, good to see many students. Hi Rodrigo Duarte. Again, these lessons are brought to you by our premium websites, aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Check us out there and for the general version of the test, do check us out at E-I-E-L-T-S help Dot com. On both of these websites, we have loads of fantastic materials to help you improve your band scores quickly. Uh, strategies, interactive course, application, original practice exams, and over 100 hours of video lessons. Again, this is a speaking class, students, so make sure to and repeat. So when you hear me use some new words, some phrases, present perfect, past perfect. Just repeat as best as you can. Make sure to speak. You're listening to me and I want to imagine that I'm listening to you speaking as well. This is what our websites look like. This is our academic website. Click that red button to join our premium package there. And this is gileshelp.com for general IELTS students. Click that red button to join us there. If you have questions about our products or the IELTS exam, you can always send me an email. And you can download our apps, Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help from your Google Play and Apple app stores. My email for questions, it's adrian at aehelp.com. Students looking for practice exams, you can get our exam books from Amazon. Look for AE Helps Academic IELTS and GE Helps General IELTS. Again, this is the last class of 2019. It's exciting. It's been a fantastic year. Our YouTube channel broke 1 million subscribers uh, this year. So thank you so much for that, students. You're all a part of this, uh, and that's brilliant. Next year, we're looking uh, towards a fantastic year ahead. We will have lots more videos, new products, four new practice exams for the academic and the general exam. So lots of exciting development coming up and innovation in our company in 2020, giving even more help to students around the world. So look forward to that. Um, between the 30th and January 2nd, there will be no classes and I will be back on January third with speaking part one, then there will be classes on the fourth, fifth, sixth going forward. So keep uh, looking back, checking back. I will release some new HD videos during that time as well. All right, students, without further ado, let's get into today's class. Here we go. So part three in the speaking section, there are challenging questions uh, connected to part two. Now we didn't do part two, which is fine. Uh, we will go through these questions together and uh, I will give you strategies as we answer. So uh, after part two, the cue card, which is uh, about two minutes, the examiner will say that is the end of the two minutes. Please pass back the cue card with the questions, the note paper, the pencil. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you more questions related to the topic of part two. Let's talk about laws and regulations. Let's just get into the first question. Which are the most basic laws that govern most people around the world? So what are some of the most basic laws? Now, again, remember, students, there is no perfect answer in the speaking section. 
You just have to show good fluency, command of the English language, and of course, your answers have to be sensible, okay? So give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. Which are the most common or which are the most basic laws that govern most people around the world? Okay. Again, just start speaking. Get right into it. Charlie Sen says traffic laws. Charlie Sen, that's a good idea. It's a good answer. Put that into a full sentence. Swim fan, that's fantastic. Um, Rodrigo says, I think the most common laws that rule individuals around the globe are don't steal and don't kill anyone. And these are important so that it's possible to keep order in society. Rodrigo, that is a beautiful answer. I love your paraphrasing. Um, don't answer the follow-up question yet. You won't see that. So you'll have to wait for that question. But Rodrigo, it's really nice. Okay. So Rodrigo says, I think the most common laws that keep people in line around the globe are don't steal. Hurt or kill others. All right, that works. Sure, just repeat after me. Which are the most basic laws that govern most people around the globe? I think the most common laws that keep people in line are uh, around the globe are don't steal from others and hurt or kill others. Sure, it's nice, it's clear, it's to the point. Uh, notice this interesting uh, expression here, keep in line, okay? Uh, keep in line means to keep order or to govern. It's an idiomatic expression, okay? So I'm teaching you some vocabulary lexical resource while we do this as well, okay? So keep in line or keep someone in line means to keep order, to govern, to manage, okay? It's an idiomatic expression. So one more time, I think the most common laws that keep people in line around the globe are don't steal from others and hurt or kill others. Sure. Okay. Let's see some other answers. Charlie Sen says there are many common laws that govern the inhabitants of society around the globe, such as traffic laws and don't steal from others. Charlie Sen, very good. Nice sentence. Rahul Preet says... The common government form is providing safe and healthy environment for people to live peacefully and happily. The common laws, which are established by government, is to provide safety, a healthy environment for people to live peacefully and happily. Okay, Rahul Preet, yeah, a little bit of correction there. Take notice of that. Talwinder Singh says, I got eight bands because of you. Tall Winder, congratulations. Band eight is fantastic. That means you're a very good user of English and I'm happy to have been a part of that. That's a beautiful way to finish 2019 and a very, very inspirational way to begin 2020. So good job, Tall Winder. Band eights, awesome. Belay says, well, there are a lot of laws in different countries. However, I think the most common laws are. Uh, Bijay, what are the most common laws? Um, I'm not really interested in the different countries, different laws. I'm interested in the most common laws around the globe. Hikmatillo says, well, obviously, one of the most basic laws that dominate people around the world is not to kill each other because it is prominent for the country to be safe. 
right? Hikmatillo finished that idea. Marasa says, important legislation that comes to mind right now is, is laws of justice and safety. Don't hurt others or kill others. As well, traffic laws to keep people from getting into accidents. Uh, Marasa, the beginning of your answer is very nice. Important legislation. Legislation is another way to say law. Uh, at the end, uh, Morasa, you have to be a little bit more careful with your grammar, okay? Legislation, laws of society. Very good. All right. Shirojidin Abduholaikov says, I reckon that the most common laws in the world which keep people in line are don't steal, don't kill, and traffic laws. Uh, Sirojidin, very nice. Nice use of the vocabulary that's being mentioned so far. Good job. Fantastic. Mohammed Wahab says, people around the world need to follow the most common laws of no smoking in public places. Mohammed, good. Yeah, maybe in some countries it still doesn't matter. But you know what? It's a good answer. I like it. All right. So, uh, again, in part three, you have follow-up questions. And the follow-up question the examiner has on their sheet to ask you is, why are these laws important? So I think the most common laws that keep people in line around the globe are don't steal from others and hurt or kill others. Why are these laws important? So why is it important to have laws that prevent people from stealing, killing, or hurting others? Hmm. Yeah. What is that? Why is that important? Give me a nice full sentence answer to that one. Think logically. Visualize society. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Or that's an important question. All right. Islam Ilkomov says because laws regulate our policies. And it's essential for society to do what, right? Laws have a purpose. Roshni Kunte says, well, applying these laws plays an imperative role to control both crime rates and have individuals feel safe, like as in India. Um, sure, yeah. So having individuals feel safe is definitely important. It's nice, Roshni. I like your uh, quick example, like here in India. People get jailed for a hundred years if they kill someone. Okay, so um, maybe finish that example, Roshni, by what happens if people break these laws. Ferdov says because to save individuals financially and fiscally and to decrease fatalities, moreover, to regulate many problems which need to be controlled. Okay, Ferdov's not bad. Rihan says, I think the most vital le legislations are administrative traffic laws as these laws assist people not only by awareing but also by making convenient life as I wear safe footwear to save myself. Rihan, I'm not sure what you're saying there. Make sure to rethink your grammar. Okay, try another, try a second time on that one. Okay. All right, so visualize. So I think the most common laws that keep people in line around the globe are don't steal from others and hurt or kill others. Why are these laws important? Such legislation is essential in society to create an overall sense of safety as well as prosperity. Prosperity means good fortune. Okay. In addition, these laws are needed for society to develop. I believe that without such laws, humans would still be living in caves 
and hitting each other on the head with sticks to get a piece of meat. All right. So there's my uh, answer to this question. I'm showing you the visual nature of communication here. So if we imagine visually a world without such laws, then we basically visualize anarchy and chaos. That means everybody for themselves, we're all running around hitting each other over the head. Okay. So such legislation is essential in society to create an overall sense of safety. Again, students, speak and repeat. This is natural, true English. Okay, so such legislation is essential in society to create an overall sense of safety as well as prosperity. In addition, these laws are needed for society to develop. I believe that without such laws, humans would still be living in caves and hitting each other on the head with sticks to get a piece of meat. All right. Let's see, we have a few more answer. Hick Hickmatillo says, if these laws are accepted by government, not only will it probably make society more safe, it will also benefit the inner politics to control humans. Hmm, maybe Hikmatillo. Mohammed says, no smoking legislation has a lot of significance in society for safe and clean environment for the community members. Very nice, Mohammed. Okay, good. All right, we're getting warmed up. Let's get into the next question. What are the best ways for governments to make sure that people follow the laws of their country? So answer this question for me in a nice full sentence. What are the best ways for governments to make sure that people follow the laws of their country? Hi, Eugene. Welcome to the class. Tamir Khan. Kal Murzaev says the best way for governments to force people not to break the rules is to develop uh, the educational level of citizens. In this way, people will know self and others uh, right and don't break them. Um, Temer Khan, uh, the first sentence is very good. Okay. Uh, the second sentence, in this way, people will know. It's confusing. It's unclear. Careful not to overspeak in part three, students. Oftentimes, when students speak too much, uh, their band scores go down. Their first sentences are usually quite good, as in your case, Temer Khan. Uh, but then their second, third sentences are often confusing when they try to express some unique ideas. So careful about that. Okay, it's good to practice at home, but in the official exam, make sure to just give a clear answer, explanation, example, and then stop. Okay. Rodrigo Duarte says, I think that the uh, authorities should make laws clear to society by accomplishing what they say so that they serve as an example for those who would think about committing crimes. Rodrigo, very nice. Rulers, it's a bit awkward. Okay. Um, rulers would be more accurate if we still lived in... Um, monarchies monarchies means kings and queens kings and queens used to be rulers in democracies we don't consider them rulers but we do consider them authorities okay authorities all right so government authorities all right uh shiro Jidin says such laws are vital because it is the most common and effective way of keeping the peace among people yeah and why is peace important Good. Kublir Singh says governments should organize seminars in society as well as create awareness for those individuals uh, who will be their citizens and need to follow the rules which are implemented by authorities. Uh, Kublir, I changed the end of what you said there a little bit to make more sense. Okay. 
Pachu Yadav says, well, the best way for the government to check on people and make sure they are following their laws is appointing uh, auditors and also using technology like closed circuit TV. Yeah, uh, Pachu, I made a couple of corrections there. CCTV is closed circuit TV, okay? And um, audit persons, Pachu, is just simply called auditors, okay? Auditors, all right? Okay, um, Rajveer Singh says, in my opinion, not only public awareness through media, but also enforcement of policies through strict penalties are required to implement these laws. Rajveer, that is a band nine answer, beautifully done. Okay, so in my opinion, not only do authorities need to create public awareness programs for their citizens so that the populace Populous is clear on the rules and regulations of the country, but also the government must build establish a uh, law enforcement officers and strict regulations or strict penalties so that laws are followed. All right. Um, <clears throat> such as uh, 20 years jail time for stealing a car okay so here we go uh repeat after me what are the best ways for governments to make sure that people follow the laws of their country in my opinion not only do authorities need to create public awareness programs for their citizens so that the populace is clear on the rules and regulations of the country but also, the government must establish law enforcement officers and strict penalties so that laws are followed, such as 20 years jail time for stealing a car. Answer, explanation, example. All in there. Correlative conjunction, just like uh, Rajveer uh, gave us as well. Very nice use of that correlative conjunction, Rajveer. Good job. Okay, so this would be your band nine level answer. There's quantitative information. Okay, it's very clear. 20 years jail time. All right, um, and here's the, the follow-up question. What are negative ways to enforce laws? It's kind of an interesting question. What are negative ways to enforce laws? laws give me a nice full sentence answer for that one and if you think the uh question is interesting or difficult then you can state that to buy some time hmm that is an interesting and unusual question please Allow me a moment to think. The IELTS is testing for band nine, expert users of the English language. So they will ask at least one or two kind of awkward questions, especially if you're a higher level student and they can see that. So if the examiner feels that you're a band 7.5, 8, 8.5 user of the English, then uh, they will likely ask one or two kind of odd questions meaning that they're not everyday questions they're going to see if you can still answer those and perhaps get a band nine okay uh students make sure that you're using english in the chat please as we are focusing on english since 
I believe most people here are learning for the IELTS exam. Okay. Rodrigo Duarte says, I think the negative ways are by imposing laws that are not fair or with no participation of society. I have read an article in which the death penalty has not made murder uh, statistics or the number of murders decrease in countries that use it. Yeah, okay, Rodrigo, sure. So um, certain punishment is not effective in regulating crimes such as the death penalty. All right, it's possible. Let's see. Uh, Guri Grawal is asking if I can provide some tips and tricks on reading. That's off topic, Guri, but if you check out ahelp.com for academic or gltshelp.com for general, there are lots of skills and strategies for the reading sections on those websites. Okay. Uh, Pachu says, well, the negative ways to enforce laws are using uh, traffic officers and making people pay by uh, violating traffic rules uh, such as speeding. Okay, can you explain why? So why financial penalties are not necessarily effective? Uh, Ferdov says, there are two main deficits of uh, law enforcement. The first is people do not feel free and the second is the annoying number of police officers like in Paris which I saw there in 2018. Okay for Dobbs, sure. Um, so again for Dobbs, remember the question is asking what are negative ways to enforce laws. So what you're saying is to over enforce laws by having too many police officers and having people feel uh, restrained or confined, sure. Rihan says the pros. Uh, Rihan, uh, Mahmoud, pros are positives. You want to think cons. Cons are the negative, okay? So it's off topic. Temer Khan says negative sides of enforcing laws are concentrated in its limiting function. For example, bitcoins are restricted in my country and it limits opportunities to earn money online. Uh, Suita says, firstly, it can be done through strict fines. Moreover, it will provoke mo more people to break the laws. Secondly, it can be implemented through impartial bias. Okay, sure. All right. So, uh, what are some negative ways to enforce laws? Hmm, that's an interesting and unusual question. Please allow me a moment to think. I believe that severe punishment, which is not befitting of the crime, is a negative like giving a person five years jail time for stealing a chocolate bar. Also, when laws are biased, such as they only apply to one gender and not the other would be an inappropriate system of government. Okay, so again, remember students, Clear answers, explanations, and examples. Use qualitative and quantitative language. That means use numbers and examples to clarify your points. So what are negative ways to enforce laws? You might need to think about that. It is absolutely okay to think about content 
on the IELTS speaking interview. If you're not lost thinking for vocabulary or thinking of words or grammar, then it is fine to stop and think about content. Hmm, that's an interesting and unusual question. Please allow me a moment to think. I believe that severe punishment, which is not befitting of the crime, is a negative, like giving a person five years jail time for stealing a chocolate bar. Also, when laws are biased, such as they only apply to one gender and not the other, would be an inappropriate system of government. All right, so that again is your band nine response to the question of what are negative ways to enforce the government. Notice that here you have an S, which means plural, so you need to give at least two, and that's what I'm doing here. So number one, punishment, which is not befitting of the crime, and number two, uh, laws that are biased, okay? So this way I'm making sure that I am responding to the plural in the question. What are negative ways to enforce laws? Pay attention. For that okay all right so now we come to the next question have there been any new laws introduced over the past 20 years that did not exist before all right give me a nice full sentence answer for this one have there been any new laws introduced over the past 20 years that did not exist before? All right. Pay attention, hint, hint, to the grammar of this question. Notice what grammar the question is presenting. Rodrigo says, in Brazil, two well-known laws are Maria de Pina Law and Carolina Dickman Law. These two laws take the name of two women who suffered from domestic violence and virtual crime, respectively. Um, Rodrigo, are these new laws that weren't around 20 years ago? If yes, make sure to include that in your answer. All right. Ferdov says, yes, of course, there are many laws that have been introduced, like not selling tobacco products for people under 18 years old and banning many old types of cars that produce toxic chemicals. Very nice, Ferdov's. Good. Yeah. So banning cars that have high carbon dioxide emissions. All right, use the present perfect. So while I wait for some more, um, I'm going to give an answer. Yes. There has definitely been many new laws implemented in society over the past two decades. A lot of these new legislations deal with technology and internet crime, such as cyber bullying and identity theft. In addition, the use of technology in society is further regulated, like no texting while driving. All 
All right. Here we go. Repeat after me. Have there been any new laws introduced over the past 20 years that did not exist before? Yes, there have definitely been many new laws implemented in society over the past two decades. A lot of these new legislations deal with technology and internet crime, such as cyberbullying and identity theft. In addition, the use of technology in society is further regulated, like no texting while driving. All right. Charlie Sen says, yes, definitely. Cyber law is one such law that did not, didn't exist two decades ago because 20 years ago, there was not so much internet awareness as use of the internet increased after the new millennium. Very good, Charlie Sen. Nicely done. Okay. Students, make sure to show the present perfect nature of the question, okay? Have there been? Somewhere you have to have the have been, or yes, there uh, have been a lot of changes. So you have to show that present perfect. It's very, very important, okay? Farhad Ibn Aziz says, there has been many changes to laws in the new in the last 20 years uh think about for instance the same set sex marriage law didn't exist two decades ago in many countries around the world but now they do okay very good yeah absolutely Farhad. abu musa says yes recently in our country new laws have been imposed um, against rumor spreading of people through any media because nowadays people are doing this to uh, bring about a large number of problems. Okay, Abu Musa, not bad. I did some real-time correction there. Hikmatillo says, yes, definitely. There are some new laws that have been introduced over the past two decades. One of them is freedom of speech that lets people talk about problematic issues happening in countries. Notice the confusion in the world, students. Some countries are introducing rumor spreading laws while other countries are introducing freedom of speech. Oh boy, it's going to be an interesting 2020. Um, Roshni Kunte says, absolutely new regulations have been introduced in the last 20 years, such as banning the use of certain plastics and opening wine shops near highways. Uh, if anyone breaks these laws, they are penalized both financially and with jail time. Good, Roshni. Rajveer says, yes, there have been many new laws introduced in, Indian, in India's law system, which were absent two decades ago. Most of these regulations are related to prevent technology misuse. For example, the IT law. Very good, Rajveer. Beautiful answer. Rajveer, you're really pushing that band nine level. Just make sure to speak nice and fluently with good intonation. Latifa says, yes, there have been changes in the legal systems of countries. 20 years ago in the United Arab Emirates, there were no laws to protect animals from abuse and neglect, but now there are some new rules to shelter animals around the country, which is wonderful. Latifa, I agree. That is great. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that the UAE no longer stands for the abuse of animals. We need to treat animals with respect. Absolutely. Puma or Purna, sorry, Purna says, I think um, with the passage of time, laws need to have an update. Like the new law which came into India for protecting women against abuse by bringing uh, justice within 30 days. Okay, Purna. So the laws have changed. There is a faster process to punishment, right? Very nice. Excellent. Good job. 
Follow-up question. What activity warranted the creation of these laws? The word warranted, students, here in this case means caused. So which activities caused the creation of these laws? So warranted is, um, it's a more complex word. It means it's demanded or it forced, it caused the creation of these laws. So what activity warranted the creation of these laws? Give me a nice full sentence answer. For Dobbs says the increasing number of fatalities, ecological destruction, and the advancements in technologies, especially in the last uh, decade, have forced society to create these new laws. Okay, for Dobbs, I changed the end of it a little bit to create clarity. Okay. All right. Good night, Amandeep Kaur. I hope you have some sweet dreams. Uh, Tamir Khan says, every day, every month, there are many new inventions and civilization is racing ahead. So humanity creates brand new domains of activity which demand laws to regulate people from causing harm to each other. Tamir Khan, really nice in the beginning. I adjusted the end of your uh, response to make it more accurate. Okay, I see that later you wrote, so all of these factors force authorities to create new rules. That's good. Don't wait so long with that, Tamir Khan. Add it in a little bit earlier. Okay, Pachu says, well, I said before with regards to cybersecurity um, and law that hackers steal private data and personal information is leaked to the public. So this demands new legislation to solve the ensuing problems. Okay, but you really nice. You're making connections among your answers and that's exactly what needs to happen for those high band scores. Charlie Sen says, I think increasing the number of similar types of crimes which didn't exist 20 years ago demanded the introduction of these new laws. Okay, um, so, well, as I had mentioned, cyber crimes such as cyber bullying lead to emotional and uh, physical trauma. An article in the news mentioned that there are over a thousand teenage suicides resulting from cyber bullying each year. In addition, identity theft cost more than $10 billion to credit card companies and individuals in 2018. Such criminal activity has demanded the creation of new laws and punishment to mitigate harm and damages. All right, there we go with a nice high level answer. Uh, again, if you see new vocabulary on the board, make sure to write it down, add it to your vocabulary book, find the definition for it and use it, okay? Here we go, what activity warranted the creation of these laws. Well, as I had mentioned, cyber crimes such as cyberbullying uh, lead to emotional and physical trauma. An article in the news mentioned that there are over a thousand teenage suicides resulting from cyberbullying each year. In addition, identity theft costs more than $10 billion to credit card companies and individuals in 2018. Such criminal activity 
has demanded the creation of new laws and punishment to mitigate harm and damages. All right. Nice and fluent. Practice your fluency. Speak, 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 and repeat. Okay. Amar Muhaddakar says a law is in reaction to perilous situations. Nowadays, people are more proactive towards each other with different replies to restrict non-social activities in society. Laws need to be created. Amar, not bad. Nowadays, Amar is one word. Okay, nowadays. It's three words pushed together into one word. Rajveer Singh says, from the last two decades, there have been many incidences of breach of private information over social media platforms. To mitigate such cyber crimes, there was a demand to introduce the IT law to regulate uh, social media information and to penalize organizations to minimize such incidences. Nice work, Rajveer. Nice work. Avalon Diaz says the increase of lawlessness demands improvements and the creation of new laws in order to satisfy the security needs of society. Okay, very good. Avalon, beautiful use of English. Nice use of the word lawlessness. Fantastic. Okay, very good. Nice job, students. Now, if you're doing a great job, then the examiner will continue with a close related topic like, let's talk about policing. What are the most important responsibilities of police officers? Follow-up question. If police are unable to perform these duties, what are the consequences? Which type of training are important for police officers to receive? Which of these is the most important and why? Is being an officer of the law more dangerous today than in the past? Why or why not? Elaborate on that. So here are some questions about policing in society. I will leave these for you to do over the holidays. Practice your speaking. Record your answers on an MP3 device like your mobile phones. And you can send that to me to my email in MP3 format. And I will gladly give you a band score estimate for your speaking. My email address is adrian at aehelp.com. You can see those questions at the end of the video. And they will be on the YouTube channel as well. That's all the time I have for today in 2019. Students, really nice interaction. I loved how you all got into it, gave some great answers, used your vocabulary. Hopefully most of you were repeating what I was saying. Nice job. Definitely give yourself a gift. Go to ahelp.com. Join the premium package or for general alts, galtshelp.com, join the general package and save yourself a lot of time and headache. Practice from our premium materials. This is the general alts. Click that red button there to join or the academic, click that red button there to join. Maximize your IELTS band scores in the shortest amount of time possible. Spend a couple dollars, save yourself a headache, save yourself time and money so you don't have to sit the IELTS exam over and over and make sure to join these live streaming IELTS classes in 2020. I definitely look forward to helping all of our students in the coming year and I wish all of you a very, very happy, safe and successful New Year's. Much love from the heart of Europe Budapest. Adrian signing out. Bye for now.